for Christmas, I did both of my granddaughters uh, Alice in Wonderland junk journal to save mementos, to journal in like a diary. And I did a little video of those, a flip through. And after people watched the video, I had some interest in people purchasing a journal similar. Obviously, I didn't want to recreate the same journals that I did for them, so I have made a little bit different using some of the same graphics and ideas, but obviously I wanted theirs to be unique. So I'm going to do a quick flip through of this journal. I made two of these. One of them is already sold. Um, the other one will go up on my Etsy shop tomorrow. So if you're interested, um, there will be a link down below uh, with my Etsy shop in it. So without further ado, let me show you what I've made. These journals have three signatures. Um, you can see right here. And I sew the signatures in with a wax thread that you can see on the spine. I try to keep my journals flat, um, not too embellished uh, throughout so that it is the pages are flat for writing and, and that which I think is the purpose of them. So uh, let's start. Here's the front cover. And inside the front cover, just like I did for my granddaughters, this is the very first page out of the original Lewis Carroll book. So I thought that was cool to put right in the beginning. And then just journaling pages. This is a Rita Donnelly flip for journaling and a journal card. Probably my favorite graphic is the tea party with the Mad Hatter and March Hare. Blank sheet for writing. And all of these pockets or tucks, you can put anything, any mementos that you have or want to save. Here's a flip for journaling. And again, I put a journaling card of Alice and I stitched some little leaves on here. Again, I do leave a lot of pages blank for journaling. Um, when you see these little uh, graphics here, these are digital stamps that I made out of the graphics. And I put them on the blank pages just to break them up a little bit. Here's an envelope. It's a tuck. So you can see right back in here that you can tuck things down in there. And there's a card for journaling. And you open the envelope and you've got some paper and another card for journaling. And the paper's blank on the inside. Here's a little tuck with a piece of blank paper and a journaling card. And there's the beginning of the first or the center of the first signature. And there's a journaling card that I just have clipped on here. And I sewed the March hair on there, a little banner. And then there is a tab at each, I think you can see, at each different signature. So there's one, two, and down here is three. So each signature has a tab. And this is a, a for journaling. And then this is a flip down with a quote, um, have I gone mad, that conversation. Here's just a journaling card I did. And this is a fabric flip. So this fabric is the same fabric that the actual journal is made out of. And then we sewed some paper in that so you can tuck things in there or journal underneath, whatever you prefer. Here's an envelope here. You can journal on this page. It's an envelope with just some blank paper in it for journaling. And then if you notice, this is the end of the first signature. There is quite a bit of space. So if you are going to add some stuff of your own and tuck in there, there is space to put extra paper or journaling paper, whatever you'd like to save in there. This is the beginning of the second signature. This again is a fold down for journaling and a card. And here's a corner pocket with a journaling card. 
This is a flip out. It's basically just, these are pages for journaling. And then I have a, a flip out here that I just have laid over the sheet so for more journaling. And a ticket that I made and backed with just some scrapping paper that I thought was really pretty. And here's the tab for the second signature. And the center of the second signature, I love this graphic. And another fold out, just a flip out. And here's a flip up for journaling. Here's another pocket with a, a ticket. You can journal on the back of that. In any of these pockets, you can add your own paper or whatever. And then here's another card for journaling. And I just did a little collage, uh, paper collage on there that I thought matched. And there's a pocket, Cheshire Cat on it, and a tag uh, with material from the cover. And then this is a page out of the book, but it's blank on the back for journaling. Again, like I said, I don't embellish the book an awful lot in terms of making layers of things because it really is meant for you to write in, uh, keep your thoughts, keep your mementos, so you'll fill it up yourself, I'm sure. Now we're beginning the third uh, signature. We just have a pocket with a card and a ticket. This ticket's kind of cute, let's see. It's got the March hair. This is just a little tag I put in there, a little ledger tag to break up the page. This is kind of cool. These are, it's a double pocket that I made and uh, you can put stuff here or in here and it's made out of book pages. And then this right here were some pages that I thought would be cool for journaling and I just sewed them uh, and stitched them in the corner. So you can journal on the fronts and the backs of these pages. And I just tucked that right down in the back. And then this tag, journaling tag can go right in there. Again, more blank pages for writing. Here's the center of the last signature. I love these graphics. That's why I made them the centers. And this is a card I just uh, stamped on. And another envelope with writing uh, paper inside. There's just blank paper for writing. And here's another tip out, a fold out, just a blank for journaling. And here's the tab for the third signature. And it matches, I did a little flip out here for journaling. And then here's a pocket with a journaling card and mason jar journaling. And this is a folder that I did a flip out. So you can tuck stuff behind there, you can journal in here, anything you'd like to keep in here. And then we're getting towards the end. This is an envelope. Uh, it's coffee dyed and it has blank paper in it, coffee dyed paper. And then this is a little fold out that I made that's just for journaling. And I it also added a little when I uh, tucked the envelope on like this. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, so that's the back of it. And then this is the last page, and I'm gonna have to turn this a little sideways to show you, but this is an envelope right here that I've left open so you can tuck like a pocket. It's, it's a pocket down there you can put stuff in, but it also opens up. Now I'm gonna turn it sideways so that you can see how it opens. I think I can get it all on here, but it folds all the way down like that for journaling. So there's a lot of journaling space there inside. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then I've just put black and green ribbon because that matched, I thought that matched. And you can just tie it in a bow. And there's plenty of ribbon for expansion. 
And there you go. And there's the journal. Again, I'm going to uh, list this on my Etsy shop tomorrow. And there will just be one because one is already spoken for. And uh, if you're interested, hop on there. I'll put a link down below. Thank you so much.